Was it, was it a good picture? Ah, okay. There you go. What's up guys? Today I went out with the 50 millimeter. 1.2. This beast is my favorite all around lens. I use this half the time. And then my other six lenses, they share the other 50%. Hope you guys enjoy this 50 millimeter 1.2 relaxing POV. The hardest thing about street photography is just going out. Picking up your camera, gearing up, formatting your cards, and just going and making photos. The thing that's amazing about street photography is there's no consequences. You're shooting just for you. There's so many days that I've found myself inside and it's gorgeous outside and I've said to myself, I'm gonna go out and make photographs. But life happens, your phone rings, you miss that window. I've been getting better at not missing the window. You can see by the position of sun, there's about two hours of light left. I knew that I had enough time to go out and make some new photographs. I shoot with the Canon R5 and several different lenses. I decided I was going to do a lens diary. Basically, choose a prime lens and go out and shoot. The reason I say prime lens, prime lenses just are my favorite. It's what I choose to shoot with over zooms. I really think that zoom lenses make photographers lazy. This woman was funny. My brother used to work at Krangle's Collision in this very location. I had to stop and make some new photographs for him. Of course, it gives me another opportunity to shoot through glass, which has been an obsession for me lately. This whole block has changed. CN Tower is peeking through. I love the reflection on the windows here from the sun. How the sun bounces around in the last two hours of light is just magic. The 50 millimeter lens doesn't get enough credit. I think when zoom lenses were invented, people forgot about the 50. The 50 millimeter is such a valid lens. I love the perspective that a normal lens gives you. Don't be afraid to aim at the sun, by the way. The sun flares that it gives you when you're aiming in the direction of the sun, it just looks amazing. The depth of field that you get with a prime lens Sometimes I feel like a tourist when I aim my camera at the CN Tower. I was around when it was first put up. The CN Tower. If you've never been to Toronto, you can see this from everywhere in the city. I love the leading lines in this photograph. You'll notice I never shoot just one frame. I don't want to say never, I'll say rarely. I always try to shoot through the picture. Try to get another perspective, another frame, another angle. Can I make this frame better?
I loved the light that was happening in this photograph. I'm so glad I caught it. The architecture and the skyline has changed in Toronto so much over the last few years. I think I hear a train. There's something to be said for getting out of your neighborhood and getting off the beaten path. This shot where you see above the bridge and below the brand new and the industrial wasteland underneath. I just love this dichotomy. Venturing under this bridge was a smart move. You can see how amazing the light is, how long my shadows are. It's just the right time of the day to go out and find the most interesting. I've shot in this location a couple of times before. I've brought a couple of subjects down here to shoot. Clearly you can see why. I love secret spots when it comes to photography. I always try to shoot through the picture. I always shoot horizontal, vertical. I always shoot lots of frames. I think it's super important to shoot lots of frames. Your best photo exists. It just has to be shot out. Back in the day when we were shooting film, you were kind of limited by what you shot and what you chose to capture. Now, we don't really have to edit. Of course, we do have to edit afterwards, which sometimes is daunting. I'm glad I saw this friend. The leading line of these railroad tracks were just so perfect. And shooting it with a 50. The stance that the buildings have, it just makes it look so dominant. I really like it. I always try to have a positive spin when I'm making my photographs. I think it's important to take a stand. Whatever that stand is, with your pictures. We have to challenge ourselves. We have to push ourselves into directions and make photographs that we wouldn't normally make. It's healthy. Shooting just everyday things, things that we see often, sometimes it's hard to grab photography from everyday things. But if you keep going out and you keep practicing, you'll start to see the unseen. I've included a couple of photos that I missed catching on video. A special bonus for making it to the end of this video. In Lightroom, instead of just pushing the V key to get black and white, click your profile, go down to Adobe Monochrome, that opens up a black and white slider. Now you can use the sliders to adjust certain colors in your photo. Blue was the concern, so I pulled all the blue out. I also did a little bit with my other sliders. You can see when I pull the blue out, it makes the sky black. Now you just go back into your regular exposure adjustment sliders and make the picture as you like it. If you like my radio voice, please consider subscribing. 
If you like these lens diaries, please click this 16 millimeter lens diary video next. I'll be over there. It's at night and it's a great one.